school. And it, and it brings up a point that I think a lot of students, especially their parents have, are their jobs in animation. I mean, you see all of those millions of names at the There's end of the credit. <laughs> what kind of, there, there are jobs. is there a successful career there? What kind of earning potential do they have? Okay, so to answer that real quick, the average, the average animator in Los Angeles who's in the guild is about, I think it's around $88,000. So if you're working at Disney or DreamWorks, you're making at least 90 grand a year. Not, that's good. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, wow. Internationally, it varies. Animation used to be that you get hired at a studio and they give you a three-year contract. Now you're pretty much hired to work on a movie at a time which means that's anywhere from like a week to nine months to usually a week to nine months. That's the range. So you're constantly getting the job and then you have to find the next job. It's the freelance cycle. And one of the, the main reasons I started Successful Animator is because I was in that cycle and I didn't really understand it. I had never been trained for it. I was, it was kind of thrust upon me and I had to learn the hard way how to have a career and how to how to create those relationships and plan ahead and you know save the money and do all these things that when you're when you're, basically you're you're an entrepreneur you're your own business owner and even though you may be working for Disney or Pixar you're gonna get laid off when that movie's done and you need to start thinking you know and all the jobs I've had is because other friends that got their foot in first they recommended me hey we're you know Disney we're hiring are you free yeah I am you know <laughs> here I am so. You, that's one of the things I train is how do you how do you have that career how do you get your you know, how do you get in that college and get the training what are the schools you want to go to how do you then get your first job in the industry how do you then build that career so that you have at least three reputable jobs under your belt so that producers look at you and go oh they worked at that studio that studio I've heard of those studios okay I'm, I'm gonna take a shot you know, how do you work up to get to the Disney's and the Pixar's you know and then once you're there, what's the next step? Do you start making your own books? Do you, do you start pitching shows? You know, where, what's the career path for an animator? And that's something that nobody's ever talked about. And, and I, I hope to God that somebody else would have taught me and I, I just had to learn it. So that's, that's why I'm, I'm doing this mentoring so that I can just say, hey, here's the way it is. And you know, I don't sugarcoat it. And I, you know, I like to pretty much be straight up that it's, there's a, there's enough work if you're in the, the top of the top, right? If you are really super good and you're hardworking and people like you, you're going to be working. If you are under that, and that's 5% of people, if you're that 95% that's not really passionate, you don't really know what to do, eh, then you're going to struggle pretty significantly. So that's why right from the get-go, check yourself. Make sure that you really want to do this and then understand how the business works, understand how to give value to people and understand what skills you need and then you're going to be fine. So, and are there some more support jobs that are maybe a little less, um, maybe don't require quite the high level? Like you're working at a fairly high level, it sounds like. Are there quite a lot of jobs that, that are just needed to create the the whole feature film because there's so many names at the end of a film yeah so is there a place where there's just more of a a more steady and lower employment but a i mean sorry a lower salary but a more steady employment yeah well i mean the, the studios is like it's like a pyramid right there's there's a lot of jobs in here when you get up to pixar and yeah. disney there aren't that many studios so if, if your goal is to be like a pixar animator it's, it's limited if you just want to work in yeah. the animation field where you've got medical animation You've got courtroom animation. You know, every trial they have CG animation, like the defendant walked here and the knife was here, right? There's, there's product animation, there's architectural animation. And with animation, I mean, there's modeling, there's texturing, there's lighting, there's rigging, there's running render farms, there's doing commercials, there's, there's motion capture. I mean, every, everywhere you go on TV or in the movies, there's motion graphics, right? <laughs> you know, free, you know, 99 cents, all that stuff. An artist has to do it, but it's an artist who understands design, right? And they understand the business of freelancing, and then they can get in there and they can, they can have that sustainable career. And they also understand that there's going to be times where they're working 
all the time. There's going to be other times where there's a dry spell. So if you don't plan for that, if you get that first paycheck, you're like, yeah, I'm going to get a Ferrari and you know, I'm going to go to the Bahamas for a month. Woohoo! Uh, bring all my friends and pay for them. Well, you're not going to last. You're going to be broke. But if, if, you, if, you, if you plan ahead, you, you know, really it's, it's about having a plan. And if you have that plan. Awesome. So, uh, so it's great that you're out there providing this really needed mentoring. And I think that you and I kind of sprang up out of that need that there wasn't anybody else out there doing that. Um, and so from the beginning stage to the, I've graduated, I'm having a career now, what do I do? So it's great to, to have met you, uh, Mike L. Murphy. <laughs> and, and so you've got an ebook, and what are some other things that you're working on um, that uh, animation students can look for as you build your business? Well, if they go to successfulanimator.com, well, if they want more about me just in general, they go to michaelmurphy.com. But if they want to know specifically about the animation and visual effects and gaming industries, just basic computer graphics kind of stuff, they can go to Successful Animator. And like I said, I'm revamping, we're shooting this in the middle of August 2013. So. Uh, after I say I don't know winter 2013 if they go to that site there's I'm making a whole free course because the, the top three things people ask me are how do you get started what's it like working in you know in these big movies and what's the animation pipeline like you know what are all these jobs so I'm making basically three one-hour free trainings that if you you know sign up, get, put your email in, and I'll just send you that as a newsletter. And then as I do other free bits, or or you know I'm always doing new blog posts and putting it up. So you're going to basically get tons of great information. And then I also have workshops. So if you if you want to go deeper in your training with me, we can do that as well. So it's really how how much engagement do you want to have with me? But if you just want to just get some basic info, you go there. And we've got the, the info, uh, we've got the ebook, and we've got the, the, the blog posts that talk about all this stuff. So you just hunt around and you'll find, you'll find some good, broad information that can point you in the right direction of getting started. Yeah. And if you're just starting out, you know, wanting to select a college and create your portfolio, you can go to portprep.com. Um, we've got a free assessment there to just look at your portfolio. Um, have a quick Skype call with you to just get your strategy for your education in line. Um, just letting you know is if your portfolio is ready yet. It's that kind of that first, second draft thing. And we've got um, services there for you, whether you want to, with some self-help, download some tutorial videos on how to put a good portfolio together. Or like Mike says, you can get personal mentoring as well as... Uh, a number of free videos and uh, study guides, all kinds of things that help you put together the portfolio so you can get into the, the college of your dreams that you can start on an awesome career like Mike's been telling us about. So, Don't just go inside your cave and do your portfolio and then send it off to the college without asking for feedback. Whether you, whether you listen to us and you, and you want to you know, get our free information, or you want to get our training, or you just go and ask your friends, but please, you got to get feedback. If you don't get the feedback, it's not going to be good enough, and you're not going to get in, and then you're going to get sad, and be like, oh, I'm not, I guess I'm not good enough, and then you're going to give up. So, so absolutely learn that feedback is the greatest tool that you can possibly ever get, and the people who actively seek the feedback, and they find the mentors, and they and they they want to improve themselves. Those are the people that are running the industry right now, and those are the people that are hiring people like you. And when they see that you have a similar energy to them, a positive energy that wants to be the best, then they're going to bring you on. So that's there you go. Yeah, like there's a student I'm thinking of. Uh, he had wanted to study illustration um, at Sheridan at high school. Applied didn't get in uh, and he gave up you know and you know he could have studied art fundamentals that's a one-year program they have there to prepare you um, and then reapply but he didn't and he studied something else uh, at just a small local college and he was miserable he spent five years you know working in a career he hated and then he realized 
I got to try that again. So <laughs> what do I have to do? And so he started taking live drawing classes and he took one of my portfolio workshops and, and then I individually mentored him on, you know, and I looked at it, he said, well, I didn't get in last time, so I know I'm not going to get in this time. I'm going to go to Art Fundamentals. And I looked at his work, and it was it was really excellent. I said, you don't need to spend another year in Art Fundamentals. You just need, you know, to work on your life drawing more. You got to, you know, crop this, put this in. Yeah, work on that flip book you got there and improve that. And we just massaged what he had and strengthened some areas that were weak. He got into illustration. He ended up being the Silver Award winner. He, and then he went on and got into uh, the animation program, again, award winner. And now he's working in the field, in lighting, actually. And he loves it, and he says it's hard work, but he would never trade it for anything. And you could see his um, website if you want, TonyLinka.com. So Tony, the usual way, Linka, all I-N-K-A. And so he's just a wonderful success story of... Just because you don't get in right away, right out of high school, without getting help, don't give up on your dream and don't waste more time and more money. You know, there's the resources out there to get some help, whether it's directly from the colleges, like you were doing, or somebody that's working in the field, or somebody like myself or Mike that can help you reach those goals in a shorter time and continue that belief in yourself and not give up. So make a plan, so, make it happen, and um, I guess that's it. <laughs> here to help so thanks so much for your time mike you. i think the animation students are going to be thrilled to hear this this is just the kind of thing they need to know about super thanks so much for taking time from brought to you from where are you where are you in slovenia i'm in slovenia and if you don't know where that is neither did i <laughs> before I, I came here <laughs> and, uh, so it's on the map thanks a lot, you can google it so have yourself a great afternoon and uh we're going to put this together and uh, we'll have it available on both of our YouTube channels to share with students. Eat. She must eat. All she eats is food.